Hey, Sean. Yeah, Mike. You got a guy with a tiny earring and a weird mullet in the video. You know what that means? I, what, I don't know what that means. It's Rubber Bridge Day. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> rubber Bridge Day? You know what? It's, it only happens once a year. That's true. So That's we, true. Uh, we're here to celebrate it. Mm? We sure are. This is Mike, uh, an, an indie rock producer of great renown, actually. Yeah? That's that's generous. Yes, well, you know, there's something... Uh, and this is kind of the sound of modern indie rock in it a lot is. of ways. It is, especially kind of post-Phoebe Bridgers. It has turned into, uh, as we enter that brave new world, mm, a yeah. aesthetic that is highly sought after that, as I work with more and more young people, they come over and they're like... Oh, that's so cool you have one of those. Yeah, yeah. And I've... It's just been a, a tool for me for so long. Um, and now, as these things tend to do, it can kind of be um, oversaturated at times, but that doesn't mean it's not useful. Um, so why don't you just strum a little yeah. bit with this so that people hear it? And while you're strumming it, I'll talk about the resentment you feel in your heart. <laughs> Because this has become such a thing, and Mike knew about it way before it was cool. You have a variety of these instruments, mm -hmm. which we'll be going through, yeah. and talking about, and educating you on, and also providing an $8 hack mm. near the end of this video that you can make your own one of these. Because mm. that sounds so good. Man. Thank you. It sounds so good. So the trick with it, you know, you're going to use it in any place that you might want to think about, like pizzicato strings or something like that. Um, Pizzicato, what does pizzicato mean? Pizzicato is a, when that little like beautiful plunky sound when a string player is just using their fingers instead of a bow. So yeah. that would be like Dr. Dre next episode is a great uh, example of the bing, 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 bing. I, I was thinking maybe something more of like, you know, Beethoven. Yeah. Example. Mm -hmm. But Dr. Dre as well, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, another, no, no, no sustain, just no like sustain. a quick pluck. Yes. Right? And the another a really fun voicing like thing that always sounds good. I mean in general, honestly, but it on these guys guitars in particular is if you put that fifth on the bottom like this and kind of strum through it, you're gonna just like like it's gonna give it it's gonna be stunningly sad. <laughs> Way sadder than it should. <laughs> like, the saddest major like, chord. Yeah, it's a D, but find a sadder one. Mm. <laughs> Um, the saddest D in the land. The saddest mm -hmm. D in the land. But yeah, so these are made um, by... These ones specifically that have kind of like taken the world by storm are made by uh, a person named Ruben at a guitar shop in Los Angeles called Old Style. Um, I think you actually say Silver Lake, not Los Angeles. In that's, uh, that's what the hipsters do out here. Tiny earring. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's big a, long jean shorts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, I mean, he's... I, don't know exactly how long it's been saying. I mean, I started seeing them probably, I want to say like eight years ago. Okay. This one is probably at least like six to seven years old. Um, the first time I came across one was, I saw Blake Mills playing one. Can I play that while you're, yeah. while you're, oh while you're giving gosh. this history please. lesson? Please, please, Because I, I didn't, so I'm a huge, I'm a Phoebe Ridgers Punisher fan. Yeah. Also a Taylor Swift fan. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff like this on the new Taylor Swift mm. kind of stuff. And you see how it's like, especially finger style, like... It, and it sounds like you're muting it almost with your hand. You can kind of get that Oof. that sound, but <laughs> it sounds great, right? Yeah. And it's like a very. It's a unique, distinct sound yeah. that is clearly a guitar, right? Yeah. And one of the most helpful things to sing, you know, I think I think we're seeing them come to prominence so much. Uh, in with with you know large artists and producers is because they're really fabulous recording tools like you sitting around with your friends and playing it like not plugged in it's gonna sound cool but it's not gonna be the same as it just you you know start processing it running it through pedals and stuff mm -hmm. and it's gonna open up this world um, of you know just sonic possibility that feels really fresh and exciting. I think that's why we've seen it uh, on so much emotional, you know, like singer-songwriter-esque. So just, maybe just strum a few chords on this unplugged. Yeah. So this is yes. what, you know, it's a smaller body acoustic guitar. And this is a baritone. This one's really beautiful. So you can tell it's quieter than a regular acoustic would be. But still, I generally see this on smaller body instruments anyway. Yeah, for sure. Right? Uh, and these also aren't regular strings. Yes, that's true. Yeah, so these are flat wounds, um, which just even have their, I actually technically don't, my understanding of the flat wound is it's a steel string coated in rubber. Just like a lot of rubbers going on here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and yeah, and then 
Um, that e that deadens the sound even more. Uh, like flats are really kind of like uh, the Paul McCartney on his bass. He always had flat wounds. Sure, a lot of bass players use them. Guitar players use some jazz guys. I would jazz. say more more than anybody else. Mm, but uh, yeah, yeah, and it's so is it has just a. It has a totally different feel because of the flat wounds. Really, very little string noise. That's another thing that makes them very useful for recording. Dude, that yeah, I didn't even think about that, but yeah, it's like almost none. Flats yeah. in general are huh. good for that. Interesting. Okay, I love it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean that that's that's basically it. I mean I know f probably four years ago, I, they started getting a lot more popular. Sure. Uh, among like professional musicians, and I think we've kind of seen them break through. Even more, there's been some profiles in, you know, pod, like some podcast stories. And I don't know, like LA Times maybe wrote an article about it, but, um, but uh, as anything, as it hits kind of a bigger stage, they start getting really, really expensive. For sure. And I, I've seen a couple YouTube videos of people making their own rubber yeah. bridges, but the ones that I've seen, the homemade ones, they, they really don't compare to like the ones that you have, mm -hmm. actually. It doesn't seem that complicated to make. It's really just a, a wood shim, like you said, wrapped in rubber. Yeah. And you said you do have to replace these every couple of years, right? Yeah, I take this one is on its second one. So probably like, yeah, two to three years is okay. what I think I, I kind of think of it like uh, those Kaiser Capos with mm -hmm. like the rubber piece. That, like yes. you, eventually the, it'll wear into the string. Yes, yes, yes So yes. I'm assuming like the same thing. For sure. Happens with that. Yeah, and I think the thing, the luthier who makes them Ruben, I think it's a, uh, this is the simplest and easiest, you know, the rubber bridge part. Uh, you know, it's kind of the whole thing, you know, the this plug is old like vintage Tesco plug-in from an like, electric car from the 60s and you know, it just puts it's it's uh what is it the phrase the gestalt of it, you know, it's worth sure. it's the the sum of the parts is greater than the individual, you know, uh components. The yeah. flamingos are a nice touch, too. The flamingos are a nice touch, Did the, yeah. did the old Florida man that you stole this from ever contact you about, he didn't. Uh, about this? No, he didn't. I told him not to. Okay. Yeah, yeah I asked nice. him. Nice. Yeah, to. You, yeah. you asked him. Yeah. Yeah. You're a yeah. polite man. Yeah, I would sure. say, please don't contact me again. Okay. <laughs> you know, my, my favorite one of these that you have is actually the bass. Oh, can we hear the it. bass? We sure can. Let's go grab that one. So another cool thing about these, uh, the newer ones from old style is they have two pickups this you know proper pickup here and then uh like practical like electric guitar pickup and then uh they have pizzios in in the bridge so very another like really useful recording tool uh, i like to hang out in the normal pickup nice it's a cool guy it's cool cool guy move cool guy move yeah so this one is a uh i don't even know technically what you call it it's like a little short scale bass but it's in b um but this thing is a special. Yeah. You know, three chords, um, but it's really helpful. They're good three chords though. Thank That's you. nice, huh? And you know, you know why they're good? Because none of them are the one chord, right? <laughs> right. That's yeah. a that's a real music pro tip. Yeah, yeah never play the one. Never, absolutely never play the one. Yeah. Or just save it for the top of the chorus if you're trying to uh, make go. money from music. Uh -huh. Which which you do? This 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 guy's the real deal, man. His is he gets crazy streams, <laughs> nice. which is why you need to get your music online, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. And there's no better way to do that than DistroKid. Mm. The sponsor of today's video, Mike. Did you know that? I know, I know it now. Oh my gosh, I love DistroKid. Yeah, it's amazing. Super easy it's like the cheapest service on the internet by far and also the best because you can upload unlimited amounts of tracks mm. you can do it from your phone now they have an app wow i haven't okay. showed you that yet no uh, you haven't i gotta turn you on to that that's dangerous you can't yeah. let me uh, upload demos to the internet <laughs> i mean i'll do it hey why not yeah. people do yeah. <laughs> and they make money actually really big <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, see it's like if, if you're actually taking your time and trying to make good music no you're wrong upload your demos <laughs> to distro kid through the app and yeah. you might actually just make some money yeah. and it just goes in your bank yeah making more things is always better and for sure, 100%. Yeah. yeah. This is 2023. Yeah. It's true. This isn't 1970. This isn't some quality <laughs> over quantity. No. Get your stuff out there. Put mm. it out. You know what's funny? It's like you can even like use this to troll people. Mm. Like if you send someone a Spotify link to like a song making fun of them. That's such a good it's idea. It's like, oh, well, this is, idea. that's next level trolling. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So at the very least, that <laughs> joke right there yes. is totally worth the price of admission for DistroKid. So click the affiliate link in the description and save yourself some money. Do it. While you're at it. Mm -hmm. Let's hear this bass. Um, yes. So it's also very nice for, you know, 
bass stuff, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, Ma- major scale. Yeah, it's the only one I, I know. It. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and uh, but yeah, this bass. There's an artist I work with uh, called Valley Boy who all every single song on his like record is about to come out it's just this bass and no kidding p- plugged into a jazz chorus <laughs> and then di'd out of a jazz chorus um, which is what you're hearing right now yes yeah, so we're okay. going we're going should be completely unprocessed but the jazz chorus the newer jazz courses i find were just such useful recording tools um really clean di out um that's stereo and just yeah quick and fast but yeah this this thing is is a special is a weird little you know it's just like it's just so gentle yeah. but it has like that low end that there's i feel like there's no other way to get that mm-hmm, right mm-hmm. yeah and just really good for like s- sampling stuff you know you're just like Cool. Chop that up. Yeah. Um, right. Uh, that's, add that's some noise to it. Some yeah, tape. Whatever. Exactly. Like, uh, and you're exactly. good to go. Chop that up. Pitch it around. Song's done. I love it. <laughs> but in case you don't have, you know, I, like how much would this go for now? Do you have any idea? Um, because they're so popular now. Yeah. I uh, uh, this one. I want to say this is in the ballpark of like six to six to eight hundred. But he's making these more kind of. Um, and mass, so to speak, because these are just like particularly cheap, you know, recording kings. Right. That yeah. he then goes and reworks, puts, you know, pickups in, that puts flats on them, um, and then and then you know sells them for more. But he still makes the very cool old ones, um, and uh, these are for the most part now like. A thousand to fifteen hundred has been my experience. And there's like a pretty long wait list too, it right? I, I or, yes, I or would, at least there was last time I looked into it. Yeah, they're usually. I mean, whenever I go into the shop, there's always some. Um, uh, but honestly, that might have changed just just by the nature of how popular they've gotten in the last like six months. And even then, fifteen hundred dollars is not an inconsiderable sum of money. No, it's a lot. To drop, yeah, yeah. but we found an eight dollar hack. Whoa. I found this on a YouTube channel called Audio Haze that did, uh, they tried to like clone one of the Phoebe Bridger songs mm. and kind of go through the production of it. And it's actually a tennis racket vibration dampener mm. that is just somehow cut to the exact width of a string set. Mm-hmm. So we're going to show you that yeah. next. Do you want yes. to do that on uh, an electric guitar? Yes. Want to check that out? All right, so this is a Babylon. What is, what is this called? A uh, Vibrigil <laughs> Comfort Dampener. Um, yeah. Comfort Dampener. Vibrigil. Vibrigil. Great. In the good way, not the bad way. No, no, no. Not the way that right. all my friends are like, dude, please stop dude, Get that Vibrigil yeah, out of here, yeah. man. <laughs> don't, tell, don't tell him about the party. <laughs> yeah, no. My name is Michael Coleman, colloquially known as Vibrakit. Um, <laughs> um, but Sean showed me this, oh my gosh, I want to say like a month ago. Yeah, probably like a month ago. Uh huh. And he was so kind and left it here, and yeah. it has been on probably half of the songs I have done since. It's been so incredibly inspiring. I mean, not even to me, I actually don't even know if I've played it, but artists who've come in, they just pick it up, uh, and they just. <laughs> That they're stunned by it, uh, and especially running it through effects like this. You know, you hear, you get the vibe. Um, but like I was saying earlier, when you start processing it, that's when the stuff like shines. When this type of dampened guitar shines. Uh, should we show them? Let's do it. Yeah, for sure. I love it. Yeah. So Mike is gonna be on the pedal board. I'm just gonna be kind of plucking away. All right, check it out. So this is a Calibrate Echo Rec. It takes delay really nice. Alright, check that out. Uh, I mean, obviously, re- reverbs are gorgeous. Um, I, I know this is funny, I'm a uh, disciple, or a, I proselytize the BBE Sonic Stomp. Yes. <laughs> I love it, especially live. I think it does really special stuff to guitars. Alright, check this out. Throw through a whammy. Plug. 
like really usable kind of like a drone. Drone, yeah, or even play chord, like pluck chords. Uh yep. Like so usable, obviously. You know, it's not chords isn't gonna be bad. Um freeze pedal isn't plugged in, but really good pedal. But let me listen to that. Now let me ruin it. sound for eight dollars mm -hmm. and again so what what are the drawbacks between this so now you spend some time yes it can't be just as good no right? it's not uh the intonation is a problem <laughs> at times <laughs> sure. in certain parts of the neck uh it does mute things in a weird way and can create harmonic overtones i have had that be a bad thing and i have had it be a good thing uh kind of depends on the player's ability to uh harness that i am not good enough to do that um and then other it because it's made for a tennis racket, <laughs> it will um, mute, like, you'll kind of need to, like, push it around a little bit yeah, and yeah. get, you know, like, certain strings will be muted in ways that, they'll, they'll be muted differently, like on a rubber right. bridge, all of the strings will be muted evenly for the most part, whereas this, you'll run into different I could stuff. even tell, like, the high E string is a... You, wait, that's the harmonics. Okay, yeah. Hear it? It's, like, really weird. Yeah, but that's... sometimes it's awesome. Yeah, and also, like, because, you know, when you think about it, it makes sense because you are just raising the strings ever so slightly above the saddle. So, yeah, yeah it's not ideal, but. But it's so, I mean, I can't, it's incredibly usable. I'm using it, like. For $8? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, man. all the time. How did, but what's the dirty trick on the $8 thing? Don't they ding you for shipping or something? This okay, is what, I uh, got so annoyed. You want to rant? A little yeah, mic rant? Let me rant. Let me rant about right. a tennis company on a music channel. <laughs> so, I. <laughs> So I, what, Sean showed it to me, I was like, oh my god, I have to get so many of these. I went on, I went online, they're like eight bucks from the website, out of stock, no shot. I sign up. To get notified. To get notified. That, no, yeah, yeah. Doesn't happen. I log back on a few, you know, a couple weeks later, they're there. I'm like, oh, amazing, let me just buy some of these, click, 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 mm. add five to my cart. Mm. Shipping's 20 bucks. 20 bucks for an eight dollar Shipping thing. is 20 dollars. That's ridiculous. Wait, wait, we can't. This is why our society is falling apart. Right? This is, like, I can't have good health insurance because of this. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. I have a lot of ailments currently. Yes. Which I'm doing a good job hiding. He really is. But, you know, I because yeah. of the $20 shipping on the mm -hmm, other. But, mm -hmm. so wait, so when you order like five. Yes. It's the same shipping? Oh, sure is. Okay, all right. So that's why I bought. That's why I bought so many. Okay, so get get them yeah. and give them out to your friends. That's what I did. Yeah, I yeah, bought yeah. I bought five and I only have two left. I've given them to there, because to work with. what a cool what a cool guy thing. Right. Be like, yo, put this on your bridge. Check, Check it out. Hit me later. Yeah. And then that's, just bounce. Right. Yeah. Right. And they're like, how before, did you get into my house? Yeah. Before yeah. it's like, vibe kill out. Yeah. That's <laughs> what I, and then they'll, they'll they'll be like, wait, why is the vibe it's so like, bad now? Like, <laughs> what happened to the vibe? <laughs> He's gone, but the but the killed vibe lingers. Uh, sure you know? does. It's like, mm -hmm. That's actually kind of what you do to the. It's like the sustain of the vibe. Yeah. When gone, I'm around, instant. Uh -uh, no it's shot. Just, yeah. Just yeah. out. Yeah. The vibe gets down to the thirty second notes. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mike, thanks for coming on. Yeah, of course. You're gonna see more of this me. guy for sure. Cause I mean, Please. what a, what a handsome, funny guy. Get out of here. He's he Man. is the only person who's nice to me. That's, that's it. So that's why we need to get him in more videos. <laughs> Just for your self-esteem. Yeah. It's really important right? for me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so click the DistroKid link because I'm going to need some of that affiliate money to yeah. keep, you know, buy, keep, buying these bridges yeah. and, and stuff. Keeping the wheels greased. Keep, keep them greased, guys. <laughs> help, help us out. See you later. <laughs>